Hello YouTube, this is the update on my macro keyboard with gesture control. Uh, it's a 6 key as you see and it has a level switch so you can have 12 keys. And uh, what each key does is shown on the display here. Uh, the first video I had gold keys and uh, some people <laughs> did not like them very much but uh, I mean you can everybody has different tastes and it looks uh, actually quite nice in person maybe it looks a little cheesy on the video but of course everybody has his own taste I normally would not use anything that flashy and so today I got some uh, blue key keys keycaps and I put them on here too to show you uh, anyhow, I did change a little bit the display, the bitmap on the display. So this is the arrow key. Put my light over here. This is the arrow key with the lead and back button. And on the second level, let me put a little closer. I have a uh, top left escape key, then home, and this is the print screen. This. Uh, puts a uh, text into my eagle I will show you in a second this is end and this is save which uh, saves your document so these are actually the most used keys that I use and I have the gesture sensor also uh, let me show you the gesture sensor first um, if I go down you saw the web page went down I go up, that page goes up, and now not quite doing it right here. Yeah, that's a nice four view effect. Let me say it in German. Okay, now you have to get used to the distance. Maybe I'm too. Too close or too far away maybe the camera is also influencing it anyhow but it does work as you see and I have left right for forward and backwards if I open my window for the pictures for example I can swipe actually this left right works pretty good I can swipe back and forth and here you see how I made it so this is actually the best uh, function on the gesture sensor maybe it's just that uh, top and bottom it's it's harder to do anyhow that is the gesture you have uh, up down left right and far and near but those are even more difficult to show but you have two uh, six uh, positions that you can use on the gesture sensor here's the keyboard so I also wanted to show you what I did on the key uh, on the shortcuts with Eagle let me pull it up so this is actually this board that I designed and uh, what I want to show you here is save you won't see if i save it uh, print screen oh so let me show you print screen uh, i normally take always screenshots and if i just click on here i take a screen a print screen a screenshot and then i can just save it and uh, i'm home and it's not gonna work here Should, uh, escape and i have um I, I'm inserting a text. If I go, for example, which I also do very often, and change the layers that are gonna shown, and I just apply it, for example, now you see that they're changed. And instead of going back and doing it all one by one again, I can just click here and watch the top over here. It's gonna say display last and then I just click enter and I have my layers back so I don't have to do it one by one 
so as you see you can have key shortcuts and you can insert text you could use it to insert passwords for example uh, that's a pretty good idea actually so uh, this is it oh I also wanted to show you how I do the pictures for example here uh, this is one of them now and over here I do pixel by pixel I'm doing the letters and the arrows and whatever uh, since it's so small this is the on maximum view right now so normally it's only this small so I blow it up I think it's a 800% yes and then I do every editing pixel by pixel and I use a program called LCD uh, what was it LCD assistant to say uh, first of all I save it as a bitmap in grayscale you can see monochrome and then I save that and then I open it up in my LCD assistant and that one uh, changes the code to binary so you can uh, use it in your code so that's how I do the pictures I'm thinking of putting this on Indiegogo actually at first I wanted to put my VGage on there but that's something that's more a niche product so I thought that this would be easier to do and it's my first crowdfunding and I might as well start with something easier and simpler and that somebody that more people could enjoy so if you're interested uh, I will have of course get everything ready uh, this all works I will of course design also a case for this keyboard uh, keypad uh, in the way like the N Pro like the 60 key keyboards so it will be covered till up to the keys and with cutouts for the sensor and the display and it will be tilted towards the front a little bit oh I'm too low again sorry about that so once I have everything ready I will put it up on Indiegogo before that I will put it probably up on Tindy so if anybody wants to get it before that they can do so uh, I will offer it with keys, without keys, because I know it's not everybody's taste. I also have, for example, orange ones somewhere. If I can find them. Like here, for example. Oh, So these are orange and the gold ones were here. So... I will offer a few oh, as an option however you want to get it I will of course put the 3d file on Thingiverse was it Thingiverse? yes Thingiverse and I had to look if I'm saying it right anyhow uh, so you can download it or print it out yourself and save you a few dollars and uh, this is it and this was a project I was planning to do for a long time and I'm really glad that I did it and I'm using it uh, almost more than my regular keyboard unless I'm typing something on email or something like that I'm using just this because it has all the shortcuts I need and uh, this is it if you're interested or if you have any questions uh, please leave a comment underneath the video uh, I will make the codes available for download also and uh, explain those while well, the codes are self-explanatory explanatory oh forget it um, so you can write of course your own keys and shortcuts and macros whatever you like it's pretty easy and I did uh, include the gesture sensor you can use it if you don't want to, you don't have to, it's just too much work or whatever. But I think it's a, it's a nice gimmick, you could use it for anything else. Uh, you could also mute your speakers or 
pull up your screensaver or shut down the PC. Uh, it's just like endless possibilities. And it just works. I mean, if you unplug it and then you plug it in, it just works. That's, that's easy. Of course, you can also use the arrow keys to move them down, but it takes longer. Or just swipe. Seems like there's a little lag. Might be my computer because I have too many programs running at the same time. Anyhow, uh, this was it. I hope you like it. And uh, take care, everybody. And thanks for watching.